I'm helping Cut.com with their new game, Truth or Drink. And so I made dummy card boxes, complete with dummy card decks. And I took pictures of them, and we're gonna make a mock-up image for the Kickstarter site. Now this, these decks are just nothing, it's just cardboard. But I'm gonna show you how to take pictures of a dumb thing and make it into a good thing that's gonna make you wanna buy the game. So the first thing I do is take a bunch of real photographs of the boxes in various configurations. Uh, I think it helps to start with an actual real physical box because then the light is falling across it in real physical ways. But because it's a photograph that means it has to be cleaned up from speckles and grain and dust and all that sort of thing. Uh, in addition, these mock-ups, the paper that I use kind of crinkles around the edges and so some time has to be spent cleaning up all the edges and making them nice and crisp. Uh, with each of the individual boxes, what I've done is I've taken uh, the plane that's facing the camera and enlarged it slightly so that it hides the, those gross edges but you still get the plane with light falling across it realistically. Uh, and then this deck of cards, this is just a regular old dirty deck of cards uh, and so I had to go through and clean up all of the, all of the dust and, and make sure the color of it matches the mock-up card which is nice and crisp and white sitting on the very top. Now, of course, you add the actual box art for all five decks. Because this game uh, has had some success with stretch goals, that means there's going to be five decks included in the game. And each one of them is a different color, and each one of them gets added to the appropriate mock-up deck. And those highlights are added to make it look like the printing wraps around the shape of the box. Uh, the main game box, of course, needs to list all five decks, so just update that. And then it's just a matter of making uh, these boxes that are facing the viewer look like they're stacked with the, with the appropriate shadows. That green one especially is very flat to the camera, so making it look like it's three-dimensional is a bit of a challenge. Um, and there's just tweaking after that. Uh, of course, as we know, according to the law, we have to have a, re a reflective surface when we have a product photograph. And, I mean, I wish it were otherwise, but, you know, you got to follow the law, and so that's got to be done as well. And at the end of it, well, this game doesn't exist, except now in this picture, because this picture is great, it looks like it does exist, and it will soon, but there you go. And so now I hope you go buy the game on Kickstarter, Truth or Drink. These are also dummies, there's nothing on them. But the real game will have stuff on